what is going on everybody my name is Mehul and welcome to your I guess 14th ECMAScript 6 tutorial in which I'm gonna show you a really interesting thing in JavaScript or ES6 proposal I should rather say and that is that they have brought in classes for ES6 now what these classes would allow us is that pretty much what we used to do in simple JavaScript like object dot prototype proto type dot, dot 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 methods and functions similarly we could do all those stuff using oop style programming syntax so that's pretty much same the syntax is pretty much same with other languages but it's a bit different but uh, the core of the javascript is still a prototypal inheritance model so what I'm gonna do is create a simple class with the help of class keyword then my class name and right here just like we have constructor functions for all other languages we have a constructor function for JavaScript as well and right here if I do like console log yeah and right down here if I say, say my shape is new shape and looking in the browser you can see that we get yeah because this is the constructor so what i'm gonna do is just get in the name shape name and i'm gonna assign this to my shape name and this obviously refers to this class right here all right now just reload this and we'll get nothing out of it because we haven't making haven't made use of this right there so what I want to do is possibly passing out something like a square or something like that so what we can do instead is that actually you can just write in an, your array name like allowed shapes and yeah one more thing I want to tell you is that right now for right now ES6 what we have is that you cannot you know work with variables like if I just do my array is one two three and just visit the browser you'll see that we will get a uh, error in the console and this is because the current ES6 implementation does not allow you to declare the variables or the properties in this case like this so you need to declare them in a sort of a function so if you just check this out right now you'll see that it would work perfectly fine all right now I'm gonna take this like allowed shapes and shapes and inside there I'm gonna say square rectangle circle for now all right now next thing I'm gonna say validate shape I'm gonna call this function and don't forget to append this to that and down here I'm gonna say validate shape is a function which would just check if this dot allowed shapes dot index of shape name is greater than minus one then I want to return or basically since this itself is returning a boolean value we can simply do return this dot allowed shapes dot index of and that thing right there so what we can do is actually just get rid of that right now and inside an area function what I can do is I can say if a valid shape is there then if this dot shape name is square then return now we need to somehow get the dimensions of that shape so what we can do is actually just get it as a constructor so I can just pass in a dimensions array here and I can say this dot dimensions equal dimensions so I'm gonna say right here that this dot dimensions 0 times this dot dimensions 0 and the reason I have created this as an array is because for a rectangle will require two sides so 
you know just creating a lot of arguments you can do that as well by getting multiple arguments but that would mean one and the same thing at the end of the day you'll be creating an array out of it so i'm just doing it straight away okay the next thing else if this dot shape name is and you should probably want to see code a little bit better is rectangle then i want return this dot dimensions zero times oh this dot dimensions one else if this dot shape name equals a circle then i want to return this dot dimensions zero times this dot dimensions oh no not really because for circle we have two times math dot pi times then we have only the radius so pretty much we are done here otherwise if there's nothing such like that what i want to do is return false and for here as well i want to return false all right okay so now looks like we are pretty much done so right here i'm gonna pass in an array of square and a side 10 so i'm gonna say console log my shape dot area and if i check out the console validate shape is okay so just miss that reload shape name is not defined oh this one should be this as well make sure you put this all around so as you can see we get 100 and that's perfectly valid for square because 10 times 10 would be 100 and for a rectangle let's just say I have 5 and 44 let's reload we get 25 well that's pretty much strange thing 5 and 44 gives us 25 console log this dot dimensions and reload 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 rectangle do we even oh okay so I need to pass in rectangle here as well so that should probably do the job reload we get 220 perfectly valid then for a circle I need to just pass in a radius of let's just say 22 or let's just say um, what should I do uh, let's just go with 10 only reload we get a sort of decimal number because pi is irrational so JavaScript just tries to write as many decimals as it could for the pi. So that's a simple JavaScript or ES6 program for class and pretty much I have shown a lot of stuff in this. In the next tutorials we'll be discussing some of the more stuff related to class and all about that. So thank you for watching. If you like this then don't forget to subscribe and again thank you for watching.